What's going on guys? Welcome to the state of VR. In this video, I'm going to be talking about another update to the VR productivity application called Emers. Previously, I covered different features of this application, how it works, and the keyboard in VR update that allowed us to see our keyboard while in our virtual space. Now in their latest update, which went live this past Thursday, they introduced a couple brand new features that just really freaking blow my mind. I'm going to talk about details regarding the update, how well the new features work, and my opinion on the sort of impact this will have on being able to multitask efficiently while in VR. Seeing as I covered a lot of how the application works in my previous video on the Immersed app, I won't go into too much detail on this one. I'll link that video in the description if you want to check it out. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so like I talked about before, Immersed is a VR productivity application made for work and getting anything computer related done efficiently and without distraction while in VR. The developers have really kept up with a lot of the new features that were eventually added on the Quest to include hand tracking. Also, the devs are constantly adding new features to the app and constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible. If you've never tried this app, imagine being able to use a full-on 5 monitor setup without needing the space for it, or needing to put up with the cost. Next, so what are some features that were added in this update? One is being able to see your phone in virtual reality. This requires you to download an app on your device, then press one button in order to start the screen capture. Basically, this allows you to broadcast your phone display over Wi-Fi and be made visible at any scale within your virtual space. Currently, it's only available for iOS devices right now, but support is soon coming to Android devices, probably within the next couple weeks. The second major part of the update is the addition of the MRTK, or Mixed Reality Toolkit. This allows for the use of real-life hand motions to manipulate your desktop overlays instead of the previous implementation where you needed to use hand tracking in order to click and drag a single button next to each display. For this update, if you want to make your windows larger, just use both hands to scale out the window by pinching and dragging across in order to increase its size or pinch and drag in the opposite direction to decrease it. You can also grab the windows in order to scale them, set them aside, or just arrange them whatever way you want. Next, so how well do these features work in practice? As far as setting up the phone in virtual reality, my experience downloading the app and setting it up using the given parent code went really, really smooth. The image presented in VR was really damn crisp. Probably better looking than my desktop if I was going to be honest about it. Also, you are able to turn the phone window into a giant portrait display, or make it the size of your phone and have it close up next to you. Basically, however you want your setup, it's pretty much up to you. Okay, so now let's talk about the Mixed Reality Toolkit feature. I really enjoyed the new implementation of distance pinching windows using hand tracking. It's super responsive and a huge step up from the previous implementation. My only complaint I have on this is that sometimes I did get bad frame drops when physically dragging and scaling the windows with my hands. This may be because my Wi-Fi connection isn't the best, so take this with a grain of salt. Now, what's my opinion on the update's potential impact for the typical user? Well, this update brings us that much closer to what a lot of us think is really the future of workplace environments. It's honestly crazy impressive right now and totally worth it if you ever get the chance to try it out. The ability to see your phone in virtual reality as well as use it as a new display for work or keeping up with text messages with coworkers or friends adds so much utility. Just a PSA, right now the phone in VR feature doesn't allow you to interact with your phone virtually. You will still need to physically interact with it in order to make selections and scroll. Even though virtual interaction isn't the thing right now, I still think it serves a pretty interesting use case. Next to being able to see overlays in augmented reality, this is as good as it gets right now in my opinion. And honestly, I don't know if Infinite Office will be able to hold a candle to what this app has been able to show off thus far. It's definitely not perfect, and there are still some things I like using virtual desktop over this one, but if you want to have that Minority Report Air-like experience while you're working in virtual reality, this is definitely the app to make that happen. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Before I get out of here, I just wanted to thank you and all my subs for watching my content. I appreciate the love and support. Here's to 1,000 subs, guys. Please like and subscribe for more Let's Talks, VR news, and product reviews. Peace out, VR dudes and dudettes.